super exciting is happening and I have decided to start a week hey Bella start a weekly vlog it's something that I've wanted to do for ages and just haven't really gotten around to do um, but I've decided to start this week because something very exciting is happening we're organizing a surprise hen party for one of my best friends she's getting married in three weeks time um, but yeah we've just decorated the whole house all the girls are here we've got our bride squad pajamas on and I'm literally just sitting by the window waiting for her to arrive she literally has no idea and I'm so excited we've got like goodie bags and Oh my god, the funniest games, Prosecco Pong, and literally about 10 bottles of Prosecco. So it's probably gonna be quite a messy night, um, but I'm so excited. to five on Monday and it really feels like Sunday I think because we have a surprise hen party on Saturday night which went so well and then we well I got the train to Newcastle yesterday for a wedding with Ben and my best friend and her boyfriend and just got back today and as you can tell I'm feeling fresh oh I actually feel so awful I feel really really tired got like a two day hangover. I'm literally just sitting in my jumper and my knickers. I'm answering some emails and eating mozzarella sticks, which is what I believe to be living my very best life. <laughs> um, but yeah, the hen party, oh my God, we were so nervous. So my friend Sam, she's been one of my best friends for like 15 years. We decided to throw a surprise party for her. So there were six of us girls that did it. Um, and she literally thought she was coming over for like pizza and some Prosecco. And she's been so busy and stressed with the wedding lately that she literally didn't even think anything of it. Um, and yeah, like she texts us saying she's leaving work. So all of us were like hiding in the kitchen, pulled down all the blinds so she couldn't see all the balloons. And we were like waiting for her. And it was like this, we could hear it, her like car door shutting and like her walking to the front door and all of us were like dead silent waiting for her to be like, surprise. I mean, what I'm going to share with you is a very, very tame, watered down version because... It just went from zero to a hundred like pretty quick. Like we just ordered the funniest games um, and we played Prosecco Pong. We drank 13 bottles of Prosecco by half eight. <laughs> and then we had a bottle of rum and a bottle of vodka. So yeah, getting the train to Newcastle yesterday wasn't the funnest thing I've ever done. Um, but yeah, so just a quick like, let's take it back to the beginning. I'm really, really, really bad at YouTube. Um, it's something that I've always wanted to just kind of spend more time on like working on and getting into more. So as well as like my travel videos and my hauls, I am going to start trying to do a weekly vlog. Um, yeah, it's just something I kind of just want to get to know you guys more on like a personal level. I always love like my personal posts on my blog. They're always my most read um, and I'm really nosy as well. So I love to know like what's going on in people's lives. And yeah, just sharing like the other side to my life than just sort of those highlights on Instagram and stuff. So yeah, I decided to do a weekly vlog. So I decided the other day, which is such a shame because we just come back from New York. So it would have been nice to do one there. But I do have travel videos from New York to share. Um... But yeah, so started vlogging the hen party and then we got way too drunk, got way too messy and then I forgot to vlog the wedding. <laughs> so we went to an Indian wedding yesterday. It was Ben's boss, his sister. You know, like the, I think with Indian weddings, it's just like a huge deal and there's like hundreds of people, but it was the first one I've ever been to and it was incredible. Like we were just dancing so much and it was so fun and like the ceremony and the rituals, it was just so beautiful. Like the dresses were just stunning. I had massive dress envy. Or oh, talking of dresses, so I ordered some dresses from Naked Fashion while I was in New York. I ordered six dresses because like panic shopping for my best friend's wedding, like what the hell am I going to wear? My best friend doesn't get married for a couple of weeks but I was like just want some options and to have it sorted so I'm not stressing about it. And then I was thinking, oh, I wear one of their dresses to the wedding last night, but they didn't arrive. 
So luckily, good old ASOS, on Friday I just put in an emergency like panic order. Spent like £300 and bought loads of stuff and was like, something has to look nice. And luckily, tried on this pink dress and it was amazing. I don't think I'm allowed to swear on my vlogs. I'm not sure. Can you tell me if I can? I don't know. Um, but yeah, it was incredible. Like a cut out, cold shoulder sort of frill wrap dress. Maxi. It was like bright pink. Not something that I'd normally go for, but... I just felt like an absolute princess in it and everyone was like that dress is amazing it was really booby um but it looks so nice and i'm really thinking i want to wear it to my best friend's wedding as well but i don't know like everyone's seen it now so are they going to be like oh honey you've already worn that um but yeah so just got a train back today i'm just trying to keep on top of some admin and like life stuff just so i don't feel like an absolute waste of space today just had a really exciting call um which hopefully i can tell you guys about soon I'm in London for the day so this morning I had a facial at Elemis hence why I have no makeup on and I'm a little bit spotty but it was amazing and my skin feels so so good so they did like a um, skin analysis I took a picture and they show you like all your brown spots your blemishes your wrinkles so good just really really interesting I felt like I know a lot more about my skin now so I think I might book myself in there once a month um, and just kind of see how my skin is developing but I have just arrived at the Aveda Institute. I meet my friend for a coffee and then I'm having a full body massage, which I'm so excited about. So yeah, just having a bit of a pamper day in London. I brought my laptop to do some work in between. Getting quite a lot done, which is great. Um, but yeah, so excited for a massage. I've been having problems with my shoulder for quite a while. I think just like my posture and like sitting over my desk all day. So I'm super excited for that. Tomorrow is my birthday, so me and Ben have just arrived at Vista Village. It is raining, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, I haven't been here since me and Kat came here to shoot some stuff with the train line. So I'm really excited to have a little shop around and I'm kind of in the frame of mind that I'm gonna treat myself to something for my birthday. Don't really know what yet, um, but yeah. I bet I can't find anything now. Do you always happen? You know, like when you have the money or like you actually wanna buy something, you can't find anything. But yeah, PMA guys, a bit of positive attitude and hopefully I can find something to treat myself for my birthday. But yeah, I'm just going to meet Ben in the restaurant. We're going to grab a Sunday roast and then do some shopping. Morning guys, so it is my birthday and we are staying at the manor in Oxford. It's so beautiful, like a huge manor house. I will get some footage for you guys. But yeah, I have no makeup on because we are going to the spa this morning. Um, for lunch and a massage and just to chill out and I'm so excited just to relax I've literally packed my books and my headphones and yeah I'm just gonna have the ultimate chill I cannot wait 